Hello again and welcome to Speed Secrets, brought to you by the guys at Speedmaster. This episode is all about top end performance. No, that's not when you're going fast in your car, but the top end of your motor. Now, Speedmaster offers top end kits for all the popular applications, including big block and small block Chevy, big block and small block Ford, and the LS. For this episode, we took a look at the big block Chevy, and we're here to tell you that even if you start with something as simple as a junkyard 454, there's some serious power gains to be had with the right top end kit. Before we get to those dyno results, let's take a look at those components offered by Speedmaster. The Speedmaster oval port big block Chevy heads feature gravity die casting to increase strength and uniformity. According to the Flowbench, the 320cc intake ports flowed 331 CFM, enough to support over 650 horsepower on the right application. The exhaust flow was equally impressive at 239 CFM. The 119cc combustion chambers featured a 2.25, 1.88 stainless steel valve package. The Speedmaster big block heads were finished off with a set of 7 16 rocker studs and adjustable guide plates. Also included in the top end kit, these 1.7 ratio roller rockers featured exclusive Speedmaster DNA. The patent pending design both reduced friction and increased strength, longevity, and valve train geometry. The oval port aluminum head upgrade was combined with a Speedmaster dual plane eliminator intake. The dual plane design promised a broad torque curve and plenty of power production. It worked well on our mild application, but also had plenty of room to grow should we decide to add compression, cam timing, or even displacement. After taking a look at those cylinder heads and intake offered by Speedmaster, we were excited about getting that top end kit installed. But first, we needed a test motor. Now the ideal choice is a Gen 5 454 offered between 1991 and 1995. The reason for this is that particular combination was factory equipped with maybe the least desirable cylinder heads ever offered on a big block Chevy. The peanut port heads offered very little flow and a very large combustion chamber, making them ideal for a top end upgrade. Unfortunately for us, we were unable to locate a suitable Gen 5 motor, but we found the next best thing, a Gen 6 short block, and then we installed Gen 5 heads. Since the heads are the most restrictive part of the combination, this will give us a good idea exactly what that top end kit is worth. To make the motor ready for the dyno, we installed a Holley carburetor, a Speedmaster dual plane intake, and a set of hooker headers. Now that everything's ready, let's make some noise. Well, we finished our dyno test, and even equipped with the Holley carburetor and Speedmaster dual plane intake, the Gen 5 headed 454 produced only 334 horsepower and 447 foot-pounds of torque. Now, while the torque number seems pretty good, I think we could do a lot better on the horsepower. Now that we've established our baseline, let's install that top end kit. As you can see, we finished the installation of our Speedmaster top end kit. We replaced the factory heads, cam, and intake manifold with the units from Speedmaster, including their 320cc oval port cylinder heads and their dual plane eliminator intake manifold. To round out the package, we also threw in a Comp Extreme Energy 276 camshaft. Now that everything's done, let's make some noise. Well, we finished our dyno test and the results are impressive. 
That top-end kit from Speedmaster increased the power output of our Junkyard 454 by 100 horsepower and 60 foot-pounds of torque. Those are some impressive gains from a package that included cylinder heads, cam, and intake manifold. And according to the Flowbench, those heads will support another 200 horsepower. You know, in thinking about it, what this low compression aluminum headed 454 really needs is boost. But that's another test for another day. I'm Richard Holder. We'll see you next time on Speed Secrets.